Welcome to Investing 101, a beginner's guide. If you're new to the world of investing, you're in the right place. Today, I'll uncover the basics of investing, offer practical strategies, and set you on a path to creating real wealth. Whether you're looking to save for retirement, a home, or just to grow your wealth, this guide will provide you with the tools you need to get started. Investing is the act of allocating resources, usually money, with the expectation of generating an income or profit. Unlike saving, which focuses on preserving your money, investing aims to grow your money over time. The key to successful investing is understanding the different types of investments available, such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and real estate, and how they can work together in your portfolio. Before you start investing, it's crucial to define your goals. Are you saving for a short-term goal, like a vacation, or a long-term goal, like retirement? Your investment strategy will vary greatly based on this. Short-term goals typically require safer, more liquid investments, while long-term goals allow you to take on more risk for greater potential returns. One of the golden rules of investing is diversification. This means spreading your investments across various asset classes to reduce risk. If one investment performs poorly, the others can help balance your portfolio. Think of it like not putting all your eggs in one basket. Every investment comes with risk. It's important to understand and be comfortable with the level of risk associated with different types of investments. Generally, higher risk investments offer the potential for higher returns, while lower risk investments offer more stability, but lower return. Investing risk is like cooking a new recipe. When you try a new recipe, there's a chance it might not turn out as expected. You might choose a simple dish which is low risk with a high chance of success but a more modest flavor, or a complex exotic recipe, which is high risk that could result in a delicious masterpiece or a culinary disaster. The more you cook and understand your ingredients, like gaining experience and knowledge in investing, the better you become at managing the risks and potentially creating more rewarding meals. Just as in investing, where balancing risk and reward is key, in cooking, choosing the right recipe to suit your skills and taste preferences is crucial for a satisfying outcome. Stocks represent ownership in a company. When you buy a stock, you're buying a piece of that company. Stocks have the potential for high returns, but they also come with higher risk. For beginners, consider starting with well-established companies or index funds, which offer exposure to a broad range of stocks. Based on recent data, here's a summarized list of some of the top performing stocks over the past five years, along with their impressive share price gains. Cadence Design Systems Inc. symbol CDNS showed a 471% gain. KLA Corporation symbol KLAC experienced a 451% gain. Eli Lilly & Company symbol LLY showed a 425% gain. Fair Isaac Corporation symbol FICO saw a 419% gain. Quanta Services Inc. symbol PWR showed a 405% gain. Lamb Research Corporation symbol LRCX returned a 363% gain. Applied Materials Inc. symbol AMAT saw a 325% gain and Old Dominion Freightline Inc. symbol ODFL showed a 337% gain. Remember these figures only represent historical performance and are not indicative of future results. Investing in the stock market involves risk and it's important to do your research or consult with a licensed financial advisor before making any investment decisions. This list is not a recommendation to buy any specific stocks. For more detailed information and the current prices per share, you can refer to sources like Yahoo Finance or Morningstar.com. Another option is bonds. Bonds are essentially loans you give to companies or governments in exchange for regular interest payments. When the bond matures, you get your original investment back. Bonds are generally considered safer than stocks, but offer lower returns. Based on the information from Financial Planning and Yahoo Finance, here's a summary of the top five best performing bond ETFs in 2023. First, there is ProShares High Yield Interest Rate Hedged. This ETF focuses on protecting investors from rising treasury interest rates. It takes long positions in high yield corporate bonds and short positions in treasury bonds, all denominated in the US dollar. It saw a year-to-date share price gain of 9.6%. Next is PGIM Floating Rate Income ETF. Part of the PGIM fund family, this ETF invests primarily in loans and has stakes in debt from well-known companies. It offers a yield of 7.66% and was established in 2022. Pacer Pacific Asset Floating Rate High Income ETF. This ETF aims to protect investors against interest rate hikes a strategy that has resulted in a 10.09% year-to-date share price gain. 
It has net assets worth $139 million. ProShares Ultra Short 20 Plus Year Treasury. With net assets of $495 million, this fund invests in long-dated U.S. Treasury bonds. It's an inverse fund, profiting when the underlying 20-year Treasury index drops in value. It achieved a 23.7% return for 2023. And again, note that this information is for general educational and informational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. Mutual funds and exchange-traded funds, ETFs, allow you to invest in a diversified portfolio with a single purchase. These funds are managed by professionals and can be a great option for beginners who may not have the time or expertise to manage individual investments. I particularly like ETFs. The decision between mutual funds and ETFs regarding overall fees depends on various factors including the specific fund, its management style, and the broker's fee structure. Generally, ETFs are known for lower expense ratios compared to mutual funds. This is partly because many ETFs are passively managed, tracking a specific index which typically incurs lower management costs. However, mutual funds, especially actively managed ones, might have higher expense ratios due to the active decision-making involved in managing the fund's portfolio. It's essential to compare the expense ratios of specific funds and consider trading commissions or broker fees, as these can impact the overall cost for investors. Real estate investing can be a great way to diversify your portfolio. This can be done through buying property directly or investing in real estate investment trusts, which allow you to invest in real estate without owning physical property. Investing in real estate offers several avenues for generating income. The first could be real estate investment trusts, these investments allow investment in real estate portfolios that generate income through diverse properties. Second is flipping houses. This involves buying properties at a lower price, renovating them, and selling them at a higher price. Next is vacation rentals, VRBO, Airbnb. These short-term rentals of properties on platforms like VRBO or Airbnb can provide regular income based on tourist demand. Fourth is short-term rentals. This involves renting out properties for short durations, often furnished and for higher rental rates. Next is long-term rentals. This is the traditional method of renting properties for longer periods, typically providing steady income. Another option is commercial rentals. This means leasing commercial spaces to businesses, usually involving longer lease terms and potentially higher income but with different management complexities. Next is raw land investment. This involves buying undeveloped land and profiting from its appreciation or development. Another option is real estate crowdfunding. With this one, you participate in pooled real estate investments with other investors, often managed online. Each method has its own risk and return profile, and the best choice depends on your individual investment goals, risk tolerance, and management capacity. One of the most powerful concepts in investing is compound interest. This is the interest you earn on both your original money and on the interest that money has already earned. Over time, compound interest can significantly increase the value of your investments. Compound interest is powerful because it allows for the interest you earn to also earn interest, leading to exponential growth of your investment over time. This means not only your initial principal, but also the accumulated interest from previous periods earns interest, creating a snowball effect. The longer your investment period, the more significant this effect becomes. This principle is key to building wealth as it maximizes the growth potential of your investments, making it a crucial strategy for long-term financial planning and wealth accumulation. Develop a plan that aligns with your goals, risk tolerance, and time horizon. Decide how much you want to invest, how often, and in what types of assets. Remember, it's okay to start small and increase your investment over time. Regularly review your investments to ensure they align with your goals. As your life changes, so might your investment needs. Don't be afraid to adjust your plan as necessary. Investing can be a powerful tool for building wealth, but it's important to approach it with knowledge and a clear plan. Remember, the key to successful investing is patience, diversification, and regular review. Start small, stay informed, and watch your investments grow over time. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Investing 101. Remember, investing isn't just for the wealthy. It's a tool that everyone can and should use to create real wealth. Here's to your investing success, and we'll see you next time.